of Fleet Friday and it's a very special one, the month of October, also AKA the month of breast cancer awareness. So we're just gonna get right into it and meet with our special guest, our friend, Detective Reyes. What's going on, my man? What's up, Nick? How's everything? We're here again, right? That's right, we're here at uh, Bayfront Park. If you guys watched on Facebook, Facebook Live, we tried to do like a mini uh, Fleet Friday on Facebook Live, but uh, it was raining, right? Yeah, it was <laughs> So this is gonna be the real deal. The real deal. Some killer B-roll. You got it. All right. So, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is. And we can start out, because everyone's gonna ask about the badge. They're gonna ask about the badge. They always do. We explain to them what the badge is, our 15s, and uh, we get new 15s, and they seem to not understand. So let's explain that badge real well, quick. The badge came, well started actually by Sergeant Valdivia back in 2012. It was the first time we got the badges. Uh, she was, instrumental in bringing the badges to our department and we wear them every month of October through the whole month except for uh, October 31st Halloween day we don't, don't wear them. okay and that's not to confuse uh, citizens out there and maybe think that we're in a think it's a prop correct yeah, so that we're not real police officers now that you just gave that stellar explanation about the badge uh, let's get on to the big show what we got behind us what do you say, detective? Let's do it. Is, is it detective still? It is not. No, I mean, no you were detective not. for many years. Many years. Uh, they might have seen you. Probably. Were you ever on the show, The First 48? A few times. That's why I'm used to calling him detective. Why don't you explain a little bit of the background? Uh, my background, I've been the uh, police officer for approximately 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on the road for four years. Signed the homicide unit just short of nine years. I did a year in uh, internal affairs and uh, I'm back to the road. All right, but you are also an FTO. I am. So you're passing on that wealth of knowledge. I hope I can. Yeah. So let's get on to the car. So I, I know you've seen the other Fleet Fridays and you know how this runs down. Usually we take a look at the outside first. We so, do. So can we? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. on how this came about. How did you get to wrap the car and be driving us around on duty? Everybody asked me that. Well, my sister is a breast cancer survivor. I've been off the road for approximately 10 years, so I haven't had a mark in it. This is my first year back, and um, I presented it to my sergeant, Sergeant Voss. He said, go for it. It went up the chain of command, took it to Commander Papier, and she took it up the chain of command, and here it is. There it is. This so, is the end result. You answer calls for service, traffic stops. You're doing it all in this car. Train people in it. Train people. Have you have you taken anybody uh, into custody in this car and transported it? I have. You have. They have. They're actually uh, 
they were honored actually. It's like, oh, I'm riding in the pink car. They found it kind of cool. So you've been doing patrol. Patrol. But you've also been going to events. A lot of events. And today's already the 24th of October, so you've been moving and grooving. Correct. And how has it been uh, in the patrol car? Have people been flagging you down to take pictures? People stop me everywhere and just want to take a picture. You know, first we're kind of hesitant, can't we allowed to? It's like, sure, come on, you know. So moving forward, since it is a patrol car and it has the stuff inside, can we take a look inside? Let's do it. Let's go. So, we're in your... This is my office. Your office. That's a go-to. Every time we do a Fleet Friday, everyone's like, welcome to my office. Expand a little bit on that. Well, this is my office. We work out of here for 10 to 12 hours a day. So this um, would be considered... Some, some people go to their office building. Mm -hmm. I come to my car. Makes sense. So, uh, how about a rundown of the vehicle? Quick rundown. Here we go. Well, we have our searchlight, which we use in a traffic stop. If we uh, need to illuminate something, look for an individual that's hiding. Mm -hmm. Our computer. This is our brains right here. So tell me about the brains, as you call it. Well, I get my calls. Mm -hmm. I do my reports. Yep. I print them out. I watch my Netflix. You watch your what? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> and I have access to run uh, subjects uh, for warrants, uh, booking photos, uh, tags, driver's license. Everything is right here. So. This right here is truly the brains. This is the brains. Okay, how do you activate or where is your light boxes? Last uh, Fleet Friday we did it was over here, but on yours it's not. Your it, light box is... Right here. Boom. Smart control for the lights. Um, the lights are actually federal signal. I see it here on the back on the dash. I know a lot of you guys ask, hey, are those whaling or federal? Those are actually federal but going back to how we control it we're currently on a on a what is it two setting a two setting and what is the difference between a two and a three well let's run through the whole thing okay boom one one controls the rear lights the rear deck rear deck you get nothing looking forward oh, go. Right. two we got rears and forwards okay and three, we got lights and sirens. Oh boy. You gonna do it? Here we go. I'm good, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, you alright? I got it. All right. Come on, man, that gets my juices flowing. You're like a kid. <laughs> One more thing. You saw that the lights were controlled from the box. Right. But I also have access to the lights on the steering wheel. Ah, look at that. We have one for the rear. Two for both, and then we have lights and sirens. Boom, there it is. So that's all access right here at the convenience on the steering wheel. Right. Nice. So as you saw last Fleet Friday, we did Marine Patrol. Correct. And in their car, they had a backup cam. Do you guys have one in here? We do. Let me let me see, where is it? Right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom, there it is. There it in is. In the mirror. In the mirror. We're clear, coast is clear. All right, let's take a quick look at the uh, back seat. What let's, do you say? Let's do it. All right. All right, show us what you got back here. Well, this is the only seat in the house you don't want to be in. Right. I but agree. it is normal patrol car function. It's got our hard seats, easy to clean, safety cage for us, cage to keep our property separated from the prisoners, mm -hmm. and uh, seat belts when they uh, need to be seat belted. Well, in the Crown Vicks and your Tauruses, you had to slide the uh, safety window open for the prisoner to get AC. In the SUV, you got a rear AC. Right there, so you don't need to slide it open. Nope. And uh, if you have an agitated uh, prisoner that's spitting or anything like that. We can give them a little AC, lower the windows down. We got bars for security. No Let's escape go. prisoners. All right, so can we take a look at the trunk? Let's do it. All right. So show us the junk in the trunk. Here it is. <laughs> Quick rundown, here we go. Here it is. Well. A ballistic uh, vest. You guys heard that? Yeah. Ballistic vest. We have our regular vest. We have a shield. We have a flotation device since we are in Miami. There's plenty of water around right. us. Yeah. You guys can see there's some 
water surrounding us. As you guys saw from the opening scene, water, water, water. Gotta have that flotation device. We have my uh, files for uh, training purposes. All my paperwork from the cities there. So that's like FTO paperwork? FTO paperwork, FTO paperwork here. Uh, we have our eight point hats. Somebody was excited about your eight point hat. Why do you have your class A stuff with you? Well, it's tradition that uh, during the exit phase of a trainee, uh, the FTO and the trainee uh, dress up in their class A's and they take a, an oral exam to pass to their next step of solo. So they're, they're asked questions they're asked. Uh, that they should have learned um, in, the, in the phases of FTO. Correct. If they don't know it. They're not moving forward. They're not moving forward. Dun, dun, dun. All right, what else you got here? Well, Go. Here it is. It's a nice little drawer here in your office. Day-to-day -day things we need. Crime scene tape. Crime scene tape. You never know when you're gonna need uh, jumper cables to help somebody. Yep. Every unit has a fire extinguisher. We got flares. Flares. We got zip ties, our mask. What, ma what kind of mask is that? That's our chemical mask. Chemical uh, mask. Hopefully we'll never need it, but. Uh, uh, we also got your. Our law book. Law book, which is also good. Not only good to have day to day, but when you're training. You gotta refer to it. That's right, and, if, and if the rookie doesn't know, you tell him, look it up. Go find it. Go, go find it, because we did the same thing. All right, man. Oh, and you gotta have your napkins. Oh. Ah. It's hot. Uh -huh. you, gotta, you gotta wipe yourself. I mean, it's, it's hot. And you keep your, your car clean too. I do. I, I live in it. Right. I spend more time in this thing than I do in my personal car. Man, I appreciate you Nick. taking the time out. I know it's past your 06 and you're about to go home, but you stayed for Fleet Friday. Big shout out to Detective Reyes. It's for a great cause. For a great cause. An awesome car, man. Great cause. Well, uh, are you gonna be doing it next year? We are. It's gonna be bigger. 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 I can't, I'm not gonna say it yet, because it's not 100%, but, but it's gonna be bigger. You teaming up with somebody? Somebody big. Ooh, can't wait to see that. It's gonna be big. Well, it's a, it's a noble cause, awesome it is. cause. It is. Real quick, shout out. I know you wanted to do a shout out before we took off. I just wanna thank this Moss Construction. Okay. For helping us out, donating the wrap, Florida car wrap for coming through and doing the work and taking the time and for a discounted price and awesome. I mean, look, look at this. It's, it's awesome. I mean, I don't think there's another car in the city like it. Good stuff. If you guys haven't seen uh, the vehicle driving around on Instagram, make sure you go follow. Look, you even got the Instagram. you're on point. Right there. Right you there, even buddy. got the Instagram right here. At like MPD it. Police. Go to the Instagram page. Check it out. So, Detective Reyes, I know you've done your investigatory due diligence and figure out how to sign off, right? Of course, what do you think this is, man? All right, all right, so I'm gonna let you take it away. All right, guys, that's it for this Fleet Friday. So don't forget to like, share, and scuba dive. Really? I like DC sign off. Come on, man. Subscribe. subscribe. All right, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, guys, see you next Fleet Friday. We're out. Adios.